I want to tell you, my brothers and my sisters, that in this world today, in this generation we are living right now, whether you are in church, whether you are in your house, or rather you are in your office, in your company, or you are working somewhere, in the secular environment and even in the Christian and other religious environments, wickedness has become a normal. Yeah, <laughs> I want to talk to you to this in a very brief way as you go out to meet your day today, this morning. Now, I want you to arm yourself. You cannot survive in this wicked world without God's backup. And I first mentioned this. You cannot survive even in the today's church without God's backup. You cannot survive in today's company, in your office there, without God's backup. You cannot do business without God's backup. This is one thing you must understand at large because this world has prepared itself in a different way. Everybody has his own way of doing things. In your company, in your business, in your office, in every place, even the relatives, even families, in your own house, you can't survive in this marriage without God's backup. And I say this confidently because I have done my own research and I realize God is the ultimate solution of every humanity. Even the people that talk to you and say, no, I'll be here, I will die for you, I will die for you. They will not die for you. Let me correct this mistake for you once and for all. They will not die for you. Nobody will die for you. Only God can stand for you. You will love other people, love the association, love everybody. But when it comes to issues of grace and operation, let's allow God to take his positioning in every capacity in your life. This morning, I want you to make God your refuge. Just like the psalmist say, and he is my refuge. I want you to make God your refuge this morning. Today, from now up to the evening, you will take God as the only backup you have that is well trustable. I want you to take that count and say, God, I want you to take the wheel for this day up to the evening. That will be your backup for today. I want to pray with you wherever you are. If you are not born again, I want you to repeat this prayer behind me. Say, my Lord Jesus, today, I come before your presence. I offload all my thoughts, all my heart's desires, and I place you before everything in my life. And today, I take charge of this decision. I am born again. In Jesus' mighty name, I receive you, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, this brother and this sister that have just Pray this prayer. Father, I decree a powerful strength to back up them. You are strength to lead them. You say you guide the steps of the righteous to the left and to the right shall you lead them to the right places. Today, Lord, they have put their lives into your hands. May your lead guide them to the right places and to their resources of the day today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. If you just pray this prayer, please. Just get the contacts down there and send a message or call the I'm Timothy Profitable. And this is Blevoy TV. We handle your spirituality, economic, and social matters.